In this case, I like to draw an arrow for the combined movement of both blocks, since they are attached together by a rope. Here we're going to call moving counterclockwise as positive. So for the first block, this means that the left is positive and the right is negative. Looking at the hanging block, this means that up is positive and down is negative. Now we write out the sum of the forces for each block in each direction and see where the variable is that we're trying to solve for. In this case, it's the force of tension. Now we need to be clever using physics and notice that any movement in the x direction for the first block is the same movement in the y direction for the hanging block. This is because the blocks are connected by a rope and move together, which also means their acceleration will be the same. The other bit of physics we need to remember is that the force of tension from the rope is the same for each block. The only difference is that the forces point in opposite directions. This makes sense because of Newton's third law, which talks about equal and opposite forces. Using these facts, we can now rearrange the two equations for the acceleration and set them equal to each other. The last step is to do some algebra to solve for the tension in the rope, which gives us our final answer of 69.5 Newtons.